Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to do a quick video before I head into work. I feel like that's <laughs> what I've been doing lately, a quick video before work. But I uh, wanted to share a little bit of, I guess not really a story, but like background. Um, something that I stopped doing that's like a normal thing that people do. Uh, why I stopped wearing bikinis. And even to the extent of um, try to, you know, cover more of my bottom and you know, cover up more, not just, so, not even to the extent of just wearing a one piece, but I um, try to even wear like a mini skirt or something. I'm, I'm still growing here, but um, basically trying to be more modest with my swimwear. Um, so I want to give some background on that because it's not necessarily, you know, I grew up in a super conservative, conservative church or like someone told me to stop wearing bikinis, bikinis and stuff like that. Um, it's more because of because of experience and what I've seen. So if any of you have are watching this have seen my testimony video, I um, my testimony is that God delivered me, or part of my testimony is that God delivered me from a masturbation addiction. Um, I struggled with it for years, introduced uh, to it as a young child, but also struggled with that a lot with lust so um and obviously lust is still like you know a temptation for everybody I'm, I'm sure but there was like a strong struggle with it as well so as I got closer to God um after college if, again I said in my testimony video that was the timing um I got closer to God and I started to feel kind of convicted about uh the way I dressed um and I wasn't even walling like I wasn't even I wasn't even like out here you know <laughs> dress in all types of crazy ways it was more just like you know maybe short shorts or like um I didn't even really wear crop tops like that it was just like a shirt maybe some of my stomach showed but typically not really um I wasn't so I wasn't even that serious uh but but I started to get convicted about you know how much of my legs I showed and if I showed my stomach and and things like that and really um I was thinking of it from the perspective of someone struggling with lust i know what it's like to struggle with lust and seeing all types of things around me people you know barely dressed or doing crazy stuff on tv and all that stuff and that was a struggle for me um try not to fall to masturbation try not to fall to lustful thoughts the bible says um or jesus said in the bible it's not even if you, you know, have sex or sleep with someone who's not your spouse, but it's when you look at someone lustfully, when you look at someone with lust, that is where you then you're committing adultery. That's what Jesus said. And we saw it in the example of David when he looked at Bathsheba lustfully. That's when it started to go downhill. It was the first that was his first sin. Um, looking at Bathsheba bathing on top of, you know, a roof and just staring and not trying to look away or anything like that <clears throat> just falling for that lust and it went so far as he got her slept with her had a baby had to kill her husband the whole nine yards if you know that story i would advise you to look it up if you don't um but we we see that in the bible as well god calls us not to lust after people and so <clears throat> i started to con get convicted because i know if i'm dressed like this and i was a man struggling with lust that would be hard to look away because I know for myself that was a struggle for me. So I didn't want to help, I didn't want to aid in someone's temptation or someone's fall to temptation. I wanted to help in their temptation by helping them not to fall. The Bible calls us to, you know, help each other, you know, uh, not to fall to temptation. Obviously, with that verse specifically that I'm referring to, and I'll put it in the description because I can't remember it verbatim. People might have different perspectives, but for me, how I took on that verse was, let me help my brothers and sisters not fall to temptation by not aiding in their lustful struggle not aiding in their porn struggle or their masturbation struggle or anything related to sexual immorality by dressing more modestly so that obviously you know i can only do so much people might still lust if i'm you know dress up in all types of ways but i know that if i stop wearing what seems to be underwear in public which is to me a bikini it looks like underwear because it is to you know I don't know if it's my opinion or if it's just true fact, but you know, to me, I see this as the same. If I'm if I'm out here wearing bikinis, um, that's like underwear because, it, uh, or super 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 short shorts where it shows my butt, or you know, very very like crop. For me, uh, people have different opinions about crop tops, but I just don't like to wear them because it's still pretty close to me to 
um, kind of like a bikini and things like that. If I'm wearing that, I'm not helping in their temptation. I'm only hurting. I'm, I'm almost helping them or I'm making it harder for them. I'm making it harder for them not to fall to temptation of lusting as in staring and lusting after me instead of trying to look away or they see a visual of me in that outfit now they, they that's in their mind and they're thinking about it whether that help that makes them fall to or whether that helps in their fall to masturbation or whether that helps in them wanting to um look at porn because of that and it makes it harder for them not to now i'm not saying people who dress like this are causing necessarily people to fall but i wouldn't say that they're helping them not to fall and i didn't want to be someone I didn't want to be the person, you know, aiding their their sin, right? Or or aiding their fall to temptation. I, I truly want to be the person to help. And that is because, again, I struggled with it and still struggle with it, right? Um, it's still, so, lust still comes up. So I, I hate it, honestly, when I, I see, um, when I see people dressed or not, barely dressed, I should say, and it hurts me and I have to quickly look away and now I can't look at whatever I was whether I was browsing through YouTube or whether I was watching a commercial now I have to look away and and be, have to stop what I'm doing to to make sure I don't fall but that's still in my mind I don't want that in my mind and I don't want my my dress and my body to be in someone else's mind if I'm not really dress and again i've seen this in other people who struggled with porn who are trying to stop who are really really trying to stop and censor themselves so that they don't struggle and i've witnessed scroll them scrolling through youtube just trying to watch basketball or whatever it is and seeing a music video of someone or seeing an ad or whatever of people in bikinis and have to hurry up and and like switch or turn it off and just be frustrated with themselves try not to dwell on that image try not to trying their best not to want to look at anything that's close to porn or have any sexual immorality now of course some people have different struggles so some people might see that and it doesn't even phase them they're like i mean that's just life that's someone's body i mean we're all used to bikinis that's culture whatever but some people don't have that self-control yet because they're still working through it or some people just that is something they struggle with and they're trying to be better and while they're in the process of trying to let go of a porn addiction or a masturbation addiction that hurts them more it, it does not help them at all and it hurts them versus if they were fully over it maybe they can handle it i don't know but i still wouldn't necessarily want that so that's kind of why i feel like i keep anyway that's kind of why i um stop wearing bikinis i mean that is fully why that's not there's no kind of about it um but i know people have different perspectives and opinions on this uh feel free to drop in the chat what your thoughts are on bikinis and you know if you're trying to be more modest and um share how you're doing it uh that is one way that i am trying to I'm not perfect but i don't have any bikinis currently so um but yeah that's just my thoughts and um, again, I'll post that. I'll post the verses that I mentioned in the in the chat, and catch y'all next. Or not in the chat, in the comment, in the description box. But I'll catch y'all next time. See ya.